But let's take a look here at the daily time frame of the US dollar. Now, this is a chart that I broke down on um, Instagram last week and obviously in the community sharing my view of the higher time frame of the US dollar. So quickly going into the weekly time frame here, all that I've really marked on is the current high in the market and the current low in the market. Now, we always must understand that this here is the overall weekly lower high point that needs to be broken to be able to see further long-term upside movement. We can look at short-term upside movement. This here could in fact create what I'm looking at as a possibility of a channel before seeing a possibility of downside. And as a channel, this would just be a large corrective move like this. So price has shown pretty much two weeks of indecision, struggling at this point right here where price is at 116.50. Price is struggling. Price previously broke above a small daily lower high point, which we're now going to see as we go into the daily time frame. So we must remember that price can retrace as much as possible until this lower high point and still be a new lower high. We have to remember that price could form a lower high at any of these points and continue with the descending trend. So as we know that, let's break it down into the daily time frame and take a look at the structure move that we have seen here. So we have seen price uh, took the upside move that I just covered with you guys on the weekly. This was that wick that price broke above. Price impulsively broke above. We got the downside move here. We then got the upside continuation creating this high. Since then, we've come to the downside in a bit of a corrective manner. We did have a bit of an impulse then descending corrective move here where price for the last two weeks has struggled at this region right here. Now, if price was to manage to break above this lower high point, then that is really what shows us further potential upside movement to the upside and that this here could very well be a new higher low point. And then you would be able to add a fib onto this from this low point to the upside and be able to look at possible areas where price could come into. And we could come all the way back into 120, sorry, 12000 um, and still form a weekly lower high point. Okay, so that's a possibility that we could see happen there within the dollar. Always bearing in mind every possibility. At the moment, we are bearish and we are bearish here in my charts because we are overall stepping down. But at the minute, we are uh, failing to create new lows. So we're not creating new lows here. And that therefore leads us to see price in a bit of a descending manner, being trapped between lower high points and a support area. So price eventually is going to take a breakout one way or the other, which I'm pretty much looking for price to do. Uh, we have to remember that there'll be a lot of liquidity sitting below this area here so we could actually see price take a dip to the downside take out this area then break to the upside for that upside potential um, and this would pretty much just be to trap sellers and also to take any stops that are sitting below this area here so always bear that in mind other than that we had a pretty impulsive move here on friday afternoon if this continues and we get a break above this 